What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Monday with Bray. Today, we are going to be talking about this little guy right here. What's that? Boo! Alright guys, so if you have been watching the channel, you know uh, a couple videos ago we released the ultimate three pedal baseboard. Well today we are going to take a look at the ultimate three pedal guitar board. I don't know what it is about mini pedal boards this year that I'm just drawn to. I don't know. I just love mini pedal boards. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it and um, some of the ideas behind it. All right, so before we start, I want to go ahead and get a couple things out of the way. If you like this video or any of my other videos, uh, consider liking and subscribing. It seems like a lot of viewers are not subscribed. So if you would go ahead and go down and hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. We need to get to 1,000 subs before we can get monetized, and that way I don't have to keep buying a bunch of stuff. Anyway... Next thing is, what is our goal with this pedal board? So, um, obviously, there are large pedal boards out there. There are pedal boards that look like spaceships and all this stuff. But today, we are specifically talking about a mini pedal board. The goal of this pedal board, for me, is to get the most out of three pedals. And that seems pretty simple, I think think but I think there can be preconceived ideas about like a mini pedal board that just turns people off right away maybe you think it's budget or something like that um, but today I promise you this pedal board is far from budget but I also think it's super versatile and can get us every sound for a gig that's what I believe is so fun about building these mini pedal boards is trying to achieve all of these sounds for your gig and just being able to run you know a tiny little pedal board it doesn't even have to be three pedals but that's what I went with today so uh, these are a couple things I need to look for what is the amp situation is this like a fly board and you're using backline amps what is your budget personal taste what kind of gigs are you playing? What kind of music are you playing? For me, um, it's mostly CCM, worship mu style music, but um, when I'm playing by myself and stuff like that, I like to play rock music and just stuff like that. So I think um, what I have today will achieve sounds everywhere in between on that spectrum. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is a board. And uh, this is right here is the Pedal Train Nano board. Comes with a little uh, soft case, but it's just a tiny little um, 14 by five and a half inch board. Um, the compact Pedal Train Nano is perfect for grab and go gigs, fly dates, the player who needs a few options on the floor, and the ever expanding world of super compact pedals. That's what Pedal Train goes by. The next thing we're gonna need um, is when we're running a board this small, it's hard to find a power supply that is going to work for this. And you can always go the one spot route and daisy chain these together, but I have been loving this Ernie Ball Volt power supply. You can power up to four pedals with this guy and all of the outputs are isolated and uh, put out 300 milliamps. I've been loving that thing and I've been using it on the this tiny pedal board uh, for a couple weeks now. The next thing I'm going to do is start breaking down the pedals. The first thing that I, I personally think we need, and let me just get this out of the way, I can already see the comments. This is just all my personal opinion. Um, I definitely would love to hear what your three pedals would be, so go ahead and go down to the comments and let me know. But like I said, this is just my take on this mini pedal board first thing that we need for me it's going to be an overdrive and lately uh, i've been into i've been very into dual overdrives so um i have this kilt v1 it's got the uh overdrive and boost on it i think it's very versatile we have the gladio cornerstone that is a dumbbell style dual overdrive uh that i've been getting into and then i recently traded for this Mad, Prof uh, Mad Professor Supreme Dual Overdrive. This thing sounds very sweet. 
And then you guys already know, this is just a couple that I have with me, but you guys already know the Brown Protein, JHS Double Barrel, and there are so many more options out there. Um, today we are going to use the Rev Tilt. So this is the Sean Tubbs Signature. This pedal is super awesome. I got this in Nashville and have been playing with it ever since. Go check that video out if you haven't already. But that is what we're going to start with. It is a boost with a... Um, overdrive with it. So that is our drive section. Next, I don't think this is essential, but this is what I included. It's going to be some kind of modulation pedal. This is the Thorpey FX Camo Flange. It's a flanger. It sounds really good. And I like to get some, even some chorusy sounds out of it. But that is my second pedal. And the third pedal we're going to look at is a delay or reverb. So this is where that last pedal in, in our uh, final slot can get a little tricky and this is my ideology behind this if i was running an amp with a reverb with a built-in reverb i would definitely lean more towards a delay so that is what i'm doing here we're gonna run into the hx stop and use a deluxe style amp with uh just a little a reverb with it so I know that might be cheating but that is what i'm gonna use today so i have the jhs panther cub so if I wasn't running an amp with a built-in reverb like my Bad Cat Hot Cat right here, it doesn't have a built-in reverb. Um, it's just a clean and a gain channel. I would consider running something like this. This is the Specular Tempest by GFI Systems. This is a reverb and delay, so you can choose either between um, delay or reverb. I would also consider something like maybe the Keeley Caverns. Or um, I recently picked up a Boss RV6 um, that has a delay and re uh, reverb setting. And then like another option, I'm thinking like the Dispatch Master from Earthquaker Devices. Today for this demo, I'm going to be using my Novo Ceres J with P90 pickups. And um, we're just going to be using the HX Stomp as an amp with a little bit of reverb in there. And then like I said, we have the... Um, Rev Tilt, Thorpey Camo Flange, and the JHS Panther Cub. So let's get down there and let's see what this thing, let's hear what this thing sounds like. Here is the setup. We have our uh, three pedal board right here. We have the HX Stomp XL over here. And uh, I know there is a bunch of switches on there, but we are just running the um, deluxe style amp with a little bit of reverb. This is what that sounds like. So let's go ahead and dig into some sounds.
Alright guys, so that's not like a full in-depth of each pedal, but it's kind of like a basic run-through. Let me know if you guys would want to see um, specific demos of these like specific pedals. Um, I think that's about all I got. What do you guys think? Is this versatile enough to pull off um, a couple different shows? Would you run a setup like this? Would you run a three-pedal setup? Um, if you would, let me know what those are. I think that's about it. So, I have been Brayden. This has been the ultimate three-pedal guitar board. And this has been Monday with Bray. We will see you next week. Peace. Um, you can pedal four. Um, pet you can pedal. Oh, my gosh. You can power up to four pedals with this. And they put out... Um, You can pedal, oh my gosh.